So Mark Savage here and welcome. A little bit dark, I apologise. Try that. Hi, Mark Savage here and welcome. Ford's F250 7.5 litre 1959 restoration. We're coming along with this. Done a few little bits. Now it is under the engine. Now, first look really. I'd like to chrome them, but you know, you get quotes of like three, four hundred pounds per item. Absolutely ridiculous. I am going to cover this in in like black, cover it over so it doesn't look stand out so horrible. We're going to black all this, black these. Oh, what's these? Oh, yeah, look at them. Mm. And I'm going to have them going here, actually, because it's such a high bonnet. I can put them there and the unit there. They are going to sound brilliant. But meanwhile, we're going to paint up, clean, rub, love everything in here. I'm going to check all the oils and bits and bobs in here make sure they're okay um, that's today's job really so let me get on with it let's start tidying up we've got all the sprays I just want to clean up and make sure these are all waxed and whatever it's not really going to go out in freezing cold weather or rain but it does happen these hinges down there in the dark he gave me another set they're supposed to hold the bonnet up it's a heavy old bonnet and also I want to use liner but I couldn't find none um, I could find like head liner but it's not fireproof is it, it needs to be fireproof or heat proof uh, I've got to try and find that stuff because that's going to look so much nicer all black there I'm not going to have the bonnet up like you see in some shows I'm going to go lots of shows with this you are going to see me if you go to car shows Stern Barns and everywhere like that I'm going to go um, but I'm not going to have the bonnet up. Someone asked to have a look underneath. Yeah, sure. But I'm not into that. You know, it's nice to see. But when you've got a 7.5 at the dump, hopefully you're going to look at this lovely baby blue and cream truck. And that's what I want you to do. Slowly. Done the fun little bit. Another coat on that. Oh, look here. Horns. <laughs> Done that. Going to get the old top bit off and then black all that later. Um, and then do the other little bits of colour. But... Yeah, I quite like the look of the horns. What do you reckon? One there and one there. So I'm getting both in the same view. You know, I thought they looked quite nice. Got to wire them all up yet. Dog. Front bumper done. Headlights rounds done. Blacked in here. Air horns on. I thought it was an Elderbrook carburetor, but it's got Holly Rick down there. So, uh, just better to spray around the battery. Didn't like it anyway. I think it looks better, leaving that like it is. Taking up quite well. A bit more work to do on that one. Mirror's all done. They look quite nice. The other side's got a hole in it. Got to do that. So while I've not been great, um, I've been playing with this. Let's have a look where we are, shall we? Just cutting indicators in the front. Nicely painted all around the lights and the bumper. Just got to wire these babies in now. Okay, aerial radio's in, let me show you in a second, but I couldn't get to the bulkhead in here. I don't know how underneath, it's all welded, oh, so it's on the side. It's why it, 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 I don't know. Let's just move on. It was the only way I could do it. Um, you, oh, look, it, it's, it's purposeful. Where were we last time with this? Mm, um, hadn't done the seat yet, had I? It didn't go as I thought it would. I've only got this blankie. I've only got this blankie on here just for the time being while I'm in and out. The roof I absolutely love. Mirror's nice. This was supposed to be saddle colour, leather look, and it turned out to be Bentley gold. Oh, yeah. But listen, what I did, I did them. Got rid of them horrible speakers. Put some nice flat ones in. And I match that with that. What do you think? Answer my postcard. Look, you can pull the bloody door shut now. Stupid before. I've got to take these off and angle them down. Not sure how to do that yet. Well, I don't think it's too bad. I've got a cigarette lighter going here, but a friend of mine has got some switches, so I'm going to line them up first and see where they go. Finding a ignition live was bloody hard and it turned out that I had one over here from the little speedo they wired in. I've got to tidy it up though because it's a bit messy. But anyway, in here is actually quite pleasant now. Carpet's all in, I've just got these while I've got my dirty feet in. I've got to glue these up a little bit afterwards. But other than that, really good. 
gearbox. I do love it, but it's leaking oil. And that's something, and that's something I've got to investigate later. Because it's dripping oil, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do the hole underneath at the same time. So, what's next? I am sorry that I didn't show you the preparation for this. I'll be honest with you, it was hell. I did the wife to help me. That wasn't the hell part. It doesn't stretch, it doesn't pull over, so it's not a brilliant job from, you know, uh, five feet away looks really good, door shut looks even better, but there are bits I was unhappy with, hence I didn't really want to show you me doing it. Um, I left the old cover on and I glued the whole thing, which meant that it didn't want to go round in places, you know, so, but it ain't bad, it ain't bad. Well, that's been painted today. And, oh, it's still wet. <laughs> sort of expected that. <laughs> the wood, however, there's a larch, look at that. Turned out quite nicely. I've cut eight lengths. And in there is the tea pieces and this tube. Four foot there to here, that's four foot, which is eight pieces. Uh, then I'm gonna, I might have to trim a little bit down, Martin and I, because they're all gonna have to be slightly gapped aren't they um but i'm rubbish and the wife will admit getting around this corner here i don't want to go straight i want to go around that corner and i want to be able to go around this corner as well i'll be doing now underneath this i was going to do a load of serious this wasn't i like five or six i don't know what i'm going to do now i might just whack it on a half hour video because uh i don't know i don't like short bites i'm doing a couple of music videos lately if you would noticed um, I did one of this. It looks, it does look nice. It will polish up. I've got a lot of polishing to do in this baby. Holy carburetor, like a ped, you know, one and a half turns out and you tune. It's got two bits there so far. I couldn't figure it out. I put it in near the stalls, come out two turns, which it originally is, because you always remember where you are, and it made no difference. And I came out about six turns, made no difference. So, as a sucking in air, whether it's not, but it smells really rich. So, I've got to sort out. Anyway, let me get on with this baby and um, join me when I've started the wood. I've got to put wiring, you've seen wiring before, and the wiring for that lot was just a bloody annoying, if I'm really honest with you. But anyway, there we go. See you in a minute. 